Got it. Now to the latest COVID numbers in our state. The state is reporting 374 more cases today. The state's seven-day positivity rate is down to 2.59%. 411 people are in the hospital with COVID-19 statewide, and 4% of Colorado's population is now fully immunized. And by now, we all know how uncomfortable those PCR COVID tests can be, but you might not know they're also expensive. Here in the U.S., most of us have been lucky enough that someone else has picked up the tab, but that's not the case in underdeveloped countries. Michael Abeda talked to a startup company in Boulder that's trying to give greater access to a new type of COVID test. So, Michael, how does it work? Well, Michaelia, it's actually pretty simple. The test subject spits into a test tube. That sample is heated up, and depending on what color their sample glows, well, that determines whether they have COVID or not. If anyone knows how to test for COVID, it's these Boulder scientists. We've been testing for COVID for about a year now. And they say COVID is still a global threat. Here in the United States, it seems like COVID is kind of winding down, but in a lot of countries, access to vaccines and testing is really limited. That's why they created COVID Glow, a test that starts with the subject spitting into a test tube. The saliva is added to a reaction, and what happens in the reaction is that it finds parts of the viral genome and it amplifies that until it becomes actually um, visible. Green means you don't have the virus, but red or orange means you do. And the entire test can be completed in about 45 minutes. Um, and it doesn't require uh, any special equipment. You don't need to be a scientist. There's no pipettes, no tips, nothing like that. Which makes the cost of each test very affordable and the turnaround time for results much quicker than a PCR test. Perfect for people living in developing nations who don't have a lot of income or may live in remote areas. That we need to make a test that puts the power back in the hands of the individuals that need to know the answer. But before they can do anything, they need approval from the FDA. That's why they were out Sunday at a Boulder fire station collecting results for their final trial. Hopefully soon, they can distribute their test throughout the world and then move on to using their tech to start detecting other diseases quickly and affordably. What we've created is a diagnostic platform and COVID is just the beginning. Now, they're still looking for volunteers to be tested, to be, be a part of that latest trial. If you'd like to help out, go to cbsdenver.com. We'll post a link to the website where you can sign up. In Boulder, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado First.